how many people download things like PDF files or Word documents from my site and what documents are most popular. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you use your data to become a better decision maker in your daily work. And today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how, on how you can create a file download report in GA4. So let's go into GA4 and go into Explore and let's open up a blank exploration report and go over everything we need to set up the report. So first of all, I'm going to give this report a name. I'm going to call it File Downloads and I'm going to select a long time range for this report. I'm going to go back all the way. Then let's go under Metrics and select event count and select active users and click import. Then under dimensions, let's look for file name and let's look for event name and click import. So now that we have all our ingredients, we can put the report together uh, and let's uh, start at the bottom. We start with metrics. Uh, let's go under values and select event count. And let's also add active users. We can do that by clicking here or by dragging it from our metric section. This will give us the total amount of events and total amount of active users. The next step is to split up all those events by using a dimension. And we can use event name first. So let's go into rows and let's show a little bit more rows. Chances are that in this list you'll find the event name with the name file download. And this is the event name that we're going to use today. So we're going to click, right click and, in, and say include only selection. So it will filter down the list to only file download. And this will create a new filter down here. So we filter by event name, matches exactly file download. This was automatically created by right clicking and checking include only in selection. So the next step here is to select the dimension file name because we want to split all these down downloads, we want to sp split them up by file name. So now I have two columns, event name and file name. I'm going to just delete the first column because it's not really rele relevant information. I've already uh, filtered down by the file download. So I'm going to leave that out. So now I have the file name. So the amount of downloads that this file has generated and the amount of users that have clicked on the, the download. So for instance, you might have had a hundred downloads by just a handful of people. So you uh, kind of remove all the doubles. So of course, if you have lots of downloads, they will all show up here. I have only one download on my site, so there's only one row uh, here. So I'm going to finish the report by renaming this tab to file downloads. And there you have it. So where do we go from here? Well, there are a couple of things that, to know about how downloads are being tracked. Um, I've, I went into the documentation. This is where it says uh, how file downloads are, uh, downloads are tracked. So J4 will react to links on your site that contain PDF, XLS, DOCX, text files, CSV files, EXE files, key, I think that's Keynote, zip files, MP3, MP4, WAV files. So there are a whole lot of different file types that are uh, that J4 responds to. And basically what J4 needs to track those reports is, let's go into my site. I have one download. It's under my terms and conditions. This is the download link. And if you hover over this link, you will see uh, down under in the, in the top right corner, you will see the, the link that's it, that this goes to. I'm just going to open this in a new tab so you see what happens. It's basically a direct link. And in this link, there's 
a file extension. So if you have a link that contains this file extension, J4 will automatically respond to that. Unless you've disabled it in the admin section of J4. So you can check real quickly if it doesn't work. You can check real quickly there under admin. You go into data streams and you check, uh, click on the data stream that you have here. And under enhanced measurements, the file downloads should be enabled down here. So now we have our file download report. Where, where do we go from here? Well, there are a couple of options. So first of all, we can create a timeline that shows how many people are, down, are downloading files on your site over time. So we can create that by just duplicating this and going into visualization and clicking on line chart. Well, by default, this will create a line for every file name. So, but if we would just want to have the total over time, I recommend to remove this breakdown over file name. So you just have the total. Of course, I just have one file. Um, but if you have more files, this, this will give you all downloads over time in a handy timeline. I'm going to rename this to timeline. So the second thing that you could do with this report is not showing the, the file downloads on the entire site, but just showing them per page. So the way you can do this is by going under dimensions, clicking the plus sign and looking for page path. I'm going to select page path and screen class. I'm going to click import. And I'm going to duplicate the first tab that we created. And I'm going to call it per page. So if I drag page path under rows and I'm going to drop it before file name, it will create a column before your, uh, your file name and it will show where the download has, has happened. And one thing you could do is uh, select nested rows. This will give you like every page on your site that has a download. And then from that page, it will list all the downloads that has have happened on that page, which is a very clear and nice way of uh, showing that. Of course, I have only one download, so it's not really impressive here. But if you have lots of downloads over lots of pages, this is really nice way of viewing this. So the last thing you can do uh, with this is um, showing what kind of extensions there are uh, mostly download on your site. And you can show that by going under dimensions and searching for extension. So there you go, file extension, we're going to import that. Again, I'm going to duplicate my first step, my file download step. And instead of file name, I'm just going to remove the file name. I'm going to add the file extension here. And this will give you every extension that you have on your site. So if you have PDF files, maybe you have some Word documents or presentation files or audio files, it, it will show here. And you can select what kind of visualiz visualization you like. So you could change this to a donut chart, a bar chart. I think I'm going to go for the donut chart. And I'm going to rename this to extensions. So by now we have a nice file download report, which contains all downloads on our site by sorted by popularity. We have a timeline that shows the downloads that have occurred over time. We have a per page report that breaks down our file downloads per page. And we have made a visualization of all the extension that have been downloaded on our site. Well, that's it for today. That's how you set up a file download report in GA4. I hope this video was clear and helpful for you. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, and hope to see you in the next video. Have a nice day.